Welcome back to the Hidden Spotlight Treasures Collection. We have found some more Elvis Presley photos for you. Some of these have not been seen in a long time. Pretty soon, you'll be coming up on some black and white photos. I'll give you a little basic information before we get to the black and whites. So Elvis broke onto the scene in the 1950s like a shooting star. He made records for the Sun Records and the rest was history. But then in the 1960s, after a stint in the Army, he did a bunch of movies. And the movies started to lose their luster after a while. He made about a million dollars a movie, but he was not getting a whole lot of support in the movies. And then it happened in 1969, the comeback in Las Vegas. So the pictures you're going to be seeing here are from the Elvis Presley comeback, 1969. So, Colonel Parker negotiated a deal with International Hotel in Las Vegas, Nevada. Elvis would be paid a half a million dollars for four weeks of shows, and the hotel was still under construction. He would use a backup band by the name of TCB, short for Taking Care of Business. The lead guitarist was James Burton. And then they had John Wickerson, piano player Larry Muhobrek. Now this comeback in Las Vegas was extremely important for Elvis Presley and he was extremely nervous. Yes, he was in shape and he used his karate moves and he bounced around the stage like never before. He exhausted himself. He wore himself out because he knew that this had to be the best performance ever. His comeback was the most important thing to him. He knew prior, the prior in the 1950s, he was a failure in Las Vegas. People don't realize that, that the first time Elvis came to Las Vegas, he failed because the crowd back in the 50s were not ready for Elvis. Elvis was way, way before his time, but this was the comeback of the century. Elvis put it all out there. He used his karate moves. He, like I said, the fans had never seen anything like this before. And not only the fans, there were big stars there from Fats Domino to Dick Clark, Pat Boone, Paul Anka, every Las Vegas headliner was there. Nobody was going to miss this. And Elvis gave them what they came to see. Some people say that his music from the late 60s was the best work he ever created, and I am one of them who believe it. When you look at songs like If I Can Dream and the American Trilogy, yes, when you look at that performance, some people say that it's the best performance ever known to mankind, the American Trilogy. That song was made for Elvis. Yes, he was the king, and many songwriters and the performers that came after him said that they would not be here if it had not been for the king. Quite frankly, no one has had more influence on the world than Elvis Presley.